Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at ProClip for the iPhone 5. As you can see, this has the 30 pin dock connector on it, and this is actually the last ProClip I had. I did a review of them quite some time ago, and now they've come out with iPhone 5 adapters. And what these are, are obviously a dock of some sort for your iPhone, and they connect to your car. This one specifically went in one of the cars that I have, and the other one was with this clip that I have, depending on the type of car you have. They make an application for just about every car out there. So it's a two-part system. You have the mount that goes to the car. You can pick that with or without a swivel head on it. And then you also have the option to pick a different type of dock, depending on whether you want one for an iPhone, a Samsung Galaxy S3, a Galaxy Note, an iPad. They make docks and cradles for just about everything. So this is the old one. It's held up really well. It's made for a case. It's adjustable. Let me show you some of the new ones. The price range is about 35 and up. The mount for the cars are about $30 to $35, and then the separate part for your iPhone or device range from about $35 all the way up to about $80, depending on what type of device they go in and what kind of dock they are. This is the one I've been using that's for my iPhone 5. It works with or without a case. It's actually designed for a case, and you can see right here it's got this little bottom piece, and it doesn't have the connector like the last one. Let me adjust this so you can see it better. What they've done is made it so the lightning cable actually slips in the bottom and it's held very firmly. It clips right into place and allows for the iPhone 5 to snap in. The top is spring loaded here. You can see it's spring loaded. It's held up really well and everything is held together with screws. If you want to change this out like I have, this is a mount I had. I switched out just the top portion. Everything is held together with these nice high quality screws. I can show you maybe a little bit better on this one. You've got some screws here. You have four, one, two, three, and four around there. And then you have a center screw for the swivel you can undo. It's a really nice system and you can see here is the one I've been using. Like I said, here's my iPhone 5. When I get in the car, I take it like this push it up and clip it in. This talks to my stereo or in some cases it may just charge but you can set it up however you want and it works really well. When I'm done I pull it out like this and I can take it off. Like I said it also works with a case. Here's a case I have, just a little clear case. Let me put this on and show you there's enough clearance around it that it should work with a lot of cases. I don't know that it would work with something like an OtterBox but it will work with the majority of cases. You can see there's actually room on the bottom here or in between, and it should fit pretty well depending on what type of case you have. It holds it snugly and, and firm, and I haven't had an issue with it there. ProClip was also nice enough to send along their other variants. They make some for the iPhone 5. Let me show you this here. This variant is actually uh, for an iPhone without a case. It's nice and padded. And then I have another one here. Let me open this up. This is how they come packaged with some instructions and screws included. This one is for, you can see there's the screws here in the little bag. This one is for iPhones with a case. And these screws tighten it down. I can slide it out, slide the case in, pinch it together, and once I have it where I want it, I can slide the iPhone out, tighten these down, and it won't move. On this one, if I take the case back off my phone, this is meant for an iPhone without a skin or anything. I actually don't have a skin on the side, just the front and back, so it will be an overly tight fit. But the idea is it just slides into place like this. And you can see it's got this nice kind of mouse fur uh, feel to it. It is on a swivel base, both of these are. And what I would do is just, on my old dock here, undo the four screws I showed you before, and then screw this one into place. And then I'll have a new dock for my iPhone. And obviously I can plug in a lightning connector here, or on this one, the other dock just has a little plug here, uh, makes it a little bit more convenient. So let me show you what that looks like in a car. Here is the Pro Clip mounted in my car. You can see it clips on nicely. The Pro Clip swivels up, down, right, left, and 
it has the lightning connector as I showed you before. We'll slide the phone in here just like this and you'll see it begins charging. It starts charging right away and because mine's hooked to the stereo it actually starts to play what was last playing which was a podcast there. When we want to use it, it's nicely mounted here, and when we're done, we slide it back out. It's a pretty nice dock. So you've seen the Pro Clip in the car. It works really well, is firmly in place. In fact, this one came out of a car I recently got rid of. It actually has a strip of tape here, holds it really firmly. It was kind of difficult to get this off. So you're not going to knock it off of your car just by bumping it. it works really well, and I definitely recommend taking a look at them. Uh, Pro Clip USA is their website. I'll put a link in the the description below. Please let me know if you have any thoughts on these, if you've used these. I've actually used this product for years now, probably four years now, and I really like it. And as I get different vehicles, I'll definitely be buying different adapters myself. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.